But right guys, how's it going? We finally got to Gamma 1.0 of Elite Dangerous, so this is pretty much what the the final build, the final release is going to be very close to this. Uh, it's still a few weeks away yet, so we've got a chance at playing Gamma, you know, before the official release. Now, I'm just going to go into options and I'm going to clear my save, right? So that you know that I'm all the way back at, to the beginning again, I'm going to be starting with... I need to choose my commander name. Now, I'm going to be starting with the stock sidewinder and a random federal system with 100 credits, right? So I'm right back to the start. Now, on start, I'm just going to go solo play right now. Now, this takes a little while, the uh, spinning sidewinder ship. I don't know why it takes so long to load, but, you know, there you go. We'll be starting in the sidewinder. There's nothing wrong with it, you know. It's, it's a decent enough little ship. It you know, gets you from A to B. Uh, and it suffices for trading, a little bit of trade, and... It's, it's, it's decent for scanning as well. And these are the things that I'm probably going to be covering here. A lot depends on exactly where you start, what system you start in. Right, so I'm starting on LHS 1914 in Bosch Terminal. Now, the first thing you want to do is go to Starport Services and see what is in the bulletin board. Now, you've only got 100 credits, right? So there's no really any point going to the commodities market straight away. I could maybe buy a couple of things like two po mm, sorry, one polymer. Um, yeah, there's almost nothing you can buy. Synthetic fabrics, maybe a little bit of bio waste. I'm not going to bother with that. I'm just going to go to the bulletin board. Right, so we've got a bunch of available missions. Uh, one looks pretty good. 13,000. We take 4T. No, oh, sorry. What, the, what this wants me to do is find 4T and take it to, uh, you know, bring it back here. That's not too bad, though. I mean, this, is, this looks doable. So I'm actually going to accept this. Uh, although I'm not going to, like, go for it right away. Obviously, because I can't afford 4T right now with my 100 credits. Uh, let's see what else there is. Two silver. Now, this is interesting, right. 10,000 credits for delivering two silver. Now, the silver is provided, right? You know that because there's a fine here. Now, if I don't complete this uh, mission, then I'm going to be fined 5,999 credits. 7.343 light years. Now, this is where you have to be careful when you're doing these missions. And I'm going to show you. Right now. What was it called? Again. Yeah, thin. Right. So, if I go to the galaxy map. Here it is down here. So, I know I can make it in two jumps through BD plus 30. And then I can get to the thin. ED plus 30 hasn't really been scanned yet, as you can see up here. There's three stars at it. If I wanted, I could scan on the way. That's maybe not a bad idea. Uh, but yeah, there's no reason why I don't I do not do this. This looks like a, a pretty easy way to make you no know, money right at the start. Uh, yeah, I'm going to accept this. I've got two and a half hours to get there, so why not? Now... I've still got more missions I can take because that only took out, it took up two of my, my cargo space, right? I'll show you as well. If you go into cargo, you can see that silver is provided. Right, now what's these other ones? Take 2T to mm, GCRV. Not really on the way. Or 2 coffee. There's this one, FK5. Well, let's have another look at the map. Right, so they're going in the totally opposite direction, yeah? I'm heading down here, so I'm going to be going to BD30 and then this thin place. Now, here's the thing. Like I said before, 7.43 light years. If you go into outfitting, it shows you all your, you know, your current distances and stuff. Now, current is 7.25 because I've got two tons of uh, silver in my, my hold. If I was fully laden, 6.96 is how far I can go. And if I was unladen, then 7.56. Now, if I wanted to, I could make this in one jump simply by selling one of my, my guns, one of my lasers. You can even make up more space by getting rid of stuff like your scanner, stuff like that. I wouldn't really recommend it right now, though, in all honesty. 
But let's just go ahead and do this, uh, do this job. There's another way you can check to make sure you can make the jump, by the way. Yeah? If you go into navigation, go all the way down at the bottom, you'll see the ones, you, you can see the systems that you can make in one jump. Yeah? Anything that's at light years is, is a new system. I can't get to uh, this thin place in one jump because it says I've got excessive mass. Which basically just means that, you know, because I've got the two tons of silver, I can no longer make that jump. But normally I would be able to make that with an unladen cargo hold. It's not a big deal. We're going to go through this BD plus 30 anyway. Right. Uh, quick last look at the bulletin board. As I say, I could also take these. There's no reason why I don't take these and turn back the way. But that's not what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to continue with this one, uh, this one run. So we go to launch. You can actually turn this off, by the way, this uh, pre-flight checklist, if you want. It doesn't take too long, though, so maybe, you know, something you don't really need to bother about. Right, that's that done. Now, as you can see, this BD plus 30 is unknown, which means I haven't been there, I haven't scanned it, I haven't bought the map for it, so I don't know what's there apart from the fact that there's a few stars there. Now, I'm putting some pips into my engines. The reason I'm doing that is just so I can boost away faster. And the faster you get away, you know, then that means the faster that you can jump to the next, to the next system. An interesting looking planet. Right, so we're jumping to BD plus 30. Now, I really should say that it is very unusual to get something as lucrative as two silver, like that's right at the start. So this is lucky. Normally you would be going for something that was worth maybe three or four thousand. Well, that's an interesting looking system. Right, now you see that? Discovered one new astronomical object. I've come to a full stop. Now, if I look at the... Uh, System map. Zoom in and out. There you go. It all says unexplored. What I'm going to show you right now, though, uh, if you go into your systems menu, there's an option at the top fire groups, right? So what you can see here is that my, my first fire group is set for my two pulse lasers. But if you move over, Right? If you use your, like, your A or D keys to go left and right here into these menus, and then W and S move you up and down, what you do is, for your second fire group, select your discovery scanner. Now, you can see the, the right hand side, just above the uh, little hologram of my ship, I've got two pulse lasers set up there. If I switch weapons though, I'm now switched to my discovery scanner. Right, weapons. I'll actually come out with hyperspace. Just to show you this. Right, so there's my guns out, right? My two lasers. Now, if I change my second, remember, my second fire group, which is just a the scanner, then the scanner comes out. Now, if I hold down my fire button, This is how you discover stuff with the discovery scanner, right? Now I've found something else, which is probably pretty nearby. Back into your uh, your navigation, and you've got stuff that's unexplored, yeah? So if you lock the destination... Where is it? Right. Now, so long as you've got it in your sights, as you can see on the left-hand side, I'm scanning it. 
takes a little bit of a you know a little while, a little bit of time, but eventually this unexplored will turn into you know the name of the the system. Yeah. Now if we go back into the uh, navigation menu, we we'll choose the next one that's unexplored. And it's going to be right behind the star. Oh no, it's this little star, yeah, the little one next to it, yeah. As you can see, you start scanning automatically. Right, that's them both discovered. Now there is another one here, we know that there's another one because it's a triple system, but I'm not even going to bother hunting it down right now. What I'm going to do is go back to the original plan, and jump to this thin system. Right, now you can't jump while you've got your scanner out, so you need to put it away before you get back into your frame shift drive. So, I don't even know this place either, right? So, this your scanner's pretty useful at the start, uh, and I'll show you how it's useful. No, I do know this place. Okay, so, we know we know what's here in this uh, thin system. Right, now, where were we looking for? Deliver silver to Euler Orbital. Just lock the destination. I'm going to ignore that signal source. Not really valid for the, for the video. But we're heading to Euler Orbital. You know that it's, uh, how to find it in the map because uh, the little blue dot next to the, the planet and the scanner, in between the, the planet and scanner, as long as that's solid blue and in the middle, then you're heading towards, you know, where you should be going. If it's hollow blue, like a hollow circle, that means it's directly behind you. If it's in the center, obviously. Now, once you get to about seven seconds away, you need to slow right down. I slowed down a little bit fast. You can see on the left there's a distance counter coming down. My speed counter still hasn't even appeared yet, but that will start. That will come on. It should should appear soon. Now there it goes there. Now once they lined up, that's you basically perfect. Another thing you can do is just keep it in the blue. If you look at the scan on the middle, you know, there's blue. Keep it in the blue and you won't go far wrong. Now this is how simple it is to make money. Uh, I'm going to get 10,000 credits simply for doing this one delivery run. I'll show you something else though, uh, once I get to the orbital. Now you need to slow down. Once it, once you get to one megameter, you get the safe disengage ready, at which point you can just press your hyperspace key, you jump out. And you'll zoom in, you'll be right next to it. Nice and simple, go to contacts, request docking. It's a lot of the target are cancelled docking. As far as docking goes, it's just it's just an art form, you know, you, you'll eventually get to the stage where it's pretty easy. You don't need to go in this fast, you can, you know, go as slow as you want. Right, so let's 
so landing pad 14. Don't forget to put your landing gear down. Now, if you aim sort of down a little bit, just as you're coming in, then you can see where you should be. If you've got a set speed to zero button, press it about now. I'm a little bit fast, but I can just creep forward now. Set speed to zero. Thrust downward. Pretty simple stuff. Now, straight to the bulletin board. 10,000 credits, just like that. Now, like I said, normally they are more like this. Yeah, 3,000 and light cargo transport for 5,000. These are pretty decent. 5,000 is okay as well. Sometimes you've got unobtainable ones. Uh, the reason you can't take them is because this has got quantity of six, yeah? And as you know, cargo hold can only take four. However, if you go into outfitting, now this depends on the station uh, sort of technology level as well, so there might not be anything here, but we'll have a look. Yeah, right, so if you click on internal, you've got three internal compartments. Your shield generator, your cargo rack, which is a capacity four, and your discovery scanner. Now, if you wanted to, click on discovery scanner and buy and equip. You can see there's another cargo rack here for two capacity. So, there's no reason why I can't go up to six capacity if, if I, I so choose. Yeah, so that would give me six cargo capacity, and then I would be able to take those missions that require, you know, six Six uh, cargo capacity. It does mean that I would then be going without the scanner. Yeah. I'm not going to do that right now. Let me feel all. So how much was it worth? Um, you know, it probably is worth doing that because it's worth 10,000 again. Uh, selling the scanner. It depends if you want to do that or not. If you want to go out scanning stuff uh, to make money, then yeah, you can do that. If not, I would advise you get rid of the scanner and uh, go for this six cargo space. What I'm going to show you now, uh, now though, if you go to Universal Cart uh, Cartographics and uh, go all the way down, I can sell data. The, the two scans of the two stars that I did in the system before made me 1,208 credits. Now, had I scanned the third, um, the third, the third star, then I would probably have got maybe, what, 2,000 or so. But I'm just going to sell that. Now, I can go back and scan the third one and come back to the station and sell it and I would get whatever it was worth, you know, for that for that one uh, item. That's how you make money with scanning. You, you just basically go around, run around, you know, get within a certain range of uh, systems and planets and stuff. Make sure that you've got them in your targets and uh, you'll eventually scan them and it's worth money. Thinking about it some more, I am now going to ditch this scanner, yeah? That's cost me a thousand credits, but like I said, I'm up to six, uh, six tons now cargo capacity. But it's worth it, because this 10,000, this 10,000 here is worth doing. 7.43 light years away, right? So, I'm going to accept that. LHS 1914, that's where I started, right? You know I can't make it in one jump, but I'm actually just going to show you. If I wanted to. Sorry about that. Back into outfitting. Sell my lasers. Now, in this case, I think I need to sell them both. Where is it? Yeah, should have started. 
1914, 7.43 light years away. So if I wanted, I could just sell this other laser. And you can see now my current jump range is 7.56. So if I go back to the map, you see all the blue lines? You now jump so much further in one jump. Now obviously this is risky, yeah. Oops, that was wrong. The galaxy map's a little bit laggy still. Right, I'm happy with what I've got with that anyway, so... Four, six coffee. As you can see now, I can select that, my targets. Just going to head all the way back. wasn't me. Now, like I said before, you can see the, uh, the blue dot in between my scanner and the planet picture. Now it's above me, I just need to move up. And that's pretty much it. I mean, that's covered how scanners work, how, you know, the, the, the missions work, selling your cargo, sp uh, buying cargo space if you need it, selling your weapons if you need to make the jump. In this case, I didn't need to sell my weapons, yeah? I could just have done, went back the same way I came, yeah? But I just wanted to show you that sometimes you maybe you need, you need to make a jump in one or you're desperate to, you know, to make a jump distance. If you need to like jump over to a system that isn't linked in some way, that's how to do it. Sell away, sell your weapons or, or two. Uh, obviously now, if anybody attacks me, I'm just going to have to run away as fast as I possibly can. I'd select the terminal. And basically speaking, that'd be me at twenty thousand credits after twenty minutes play. Barely 20 minutes, uh, and that's with all the talking and all the explanation and stuff. You don't always get this lucky, but there's no reason why you shouldn't be sitting in 10,000 by now. After that, you're pretty much on your way towards a hauler, or if you want to buy an eagle, then, you know, go ahead and, and, and do that. Uh, I'm just going to leave it here, though. Clearly, I'm not going to have any problems uh, in the way in. I'm just going to deliver this cargo. Oh, maybe I'll just try and escape. I'm not escaping, obviously. Cargo bullet now belongs to me. In actual fact, I'm going to jump. As long as you try and, you know, strafe a little bit left and right, make sure your system pips are at four. That means you're not going to be taking so much damage when you, when you get hit. Just away. He sent my shields, yeah, but he's no no he's gonna kill me before the jump drive gets started. Yep, continue onward. It took a little bit of damage, uh, but nothing too bad. I'd had my weapons, I would have turned around and killed them. That would have got me a bounty, but... 
10,000 credits for delivering this coffee, so I'm just going to go and do that. A bit fast. Same again, get within uh, one megameter. Get your hyperspace key. Quest talking. It's a little bit far away there. So, if your quest denied, it's probably because you're too far away. You've got to be within seven and a half kilometers. You know? Ups back into the engines. Job, those are holograms. Right, so pad 19, away in the distance. Up the landing gear. Landing gear deployed. I've overshot it. Yeah, back to the bulletin board. Deliver the coffee. Now, if I did ever run out of these uh, simple cargo runs, remember I still took this other one, so the Kate 4T? I'd get tea back at that other place lately. I should have checked, but there may be tea there. If not, then it'll be somewhere nearby in an agricultural system. Should it not actually be here? Tea. Yeah, look. I can complete this here. By buying four tea. I should have checked this at the start, but, but I forgot. You know, you start in an agricultural system, they're looking for tea. Go buy it here. For Six thousand. Back to the bulletin board. Uh, where was it I had to deliver it to? Yeah, Bosch Terminal. So it wasn't actually this one, this exact terminal, but it's the same system, yeah? So if I look at the map, system view, I'm right, right now I'm here at this Heisenberg Terminal, but it just wants me to deliver to this, uh, bomb terminal. More nice and easy money, just like that. And that really is, you know, how simple it is. Uh, can't really... You're not going to get a start as good as this, probably, yeah? Because this was a very good start. Uh, but, generally speaking, you follow the same principles, do the same stuff, you're going to be absolutely fine. Hope you enjoyed this one. I'm going to be covering a lot of Elite Dangerous. Uh, so, hopefully, you know, call in and see how things are going. See you later.